the death of Queen Elizabeth II marked the end of an era for the British monarchy. Her reign, spanning seven decades, was defined by dignity, duty, and an unwavering sense of service. However, as her life drew to a close, one final royal drama unfolded, one that stunned even the most loyal followers of the royal family. As Queen Elizabeth lay on her deathbed, reflecting on a lifetime of service, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, made an audacious request. She allegedly asked for ownership of Windsor Castle, a move so bold it sent shockwaves through royal circles. As expected, Queen Elizabeth firmly rejected the proposal in an instant. After all, Windsor Castle is not just a residence, it is a piece of living history, deeply intertwined with the British crown. The Queen's final decision ensured the legacy of Windsor remained intact. Imagine the significance of such a request. Windsor Castle, the seat of British power for centuries, symbolizes both the continuity of the monarchy and the heart of the royal family's history. The castle has withstood wars, fires, and political upheavals, standing strong as a testament to the resilience of the British monarchy. In her final moments, Queen Elizabeth ensured this sacred symbol was protected from what she saw as an outlandish demand. But why would Meghan, a relatively new member of the royal family, make such a bold request? What drove her to believe she had any claim to this prestigious piece of royal real estate? It's no secret that Meghan Markle's relationship with the royal family has been tumultuous. From stepping back from royal duties to airing grievances and explosive interviews, Meghan's journey from actress to duchess has been anything but smooth. Some might argue that her request for Windsor Castle was a final attempt to assert her place in royal history, a bold move to claim a stake in the legacy of a family that, according to her, never fully accepted her. However, the monarchy operates on rules and traditions that date back centuries. Royal properties like Windsor Castle belong to the crown, not to individual family members. No matter how celebrated or controversial Meghan's status as Prince Harry's wife may be, it did not entitle her to such a grand inheritance. Queen Elizabeth understood this well and was not about to break protocol in her final hours. Windsor Castle holds a unique place in the monarchy. Built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror, it is the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world, home to 39 monarchs. Its walls are steeped in centuries of history. This castle is more than just a building, it is a living monument to the continuity of the British monarchy. Windsor has hosted royal weddings, state banquets, and the safeguarding of the crown jewels. It's also where Queen Elizabeth spent her final days in peaceful reflection. For Meghan to believe she could step in and take ownership of such a place seems, in many ways, inconceivable. When Queen Elizabeth denied Meghan's request, it wasn't just about a property, it was about safeguarding a tradition. It was about ensuring Windsor remained what it had always been, a crown jewel of the British monarchy, untouched by modern demands and political dramas. As Meghan's request was denied, another woman stood in the spotlight, Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, and future Queen Consort. In contrast to Meghan, Kate's journey into the royal family has been marked by grace, patience, and an understanding of royal duties. Her relationship with Queen Elizabeth was built on respect and loyalty, something the late monarch valued deeply. Following Meghan's rejected request, many speculated about Kate's future in the royal family. Could Windsor Castle become part of her royal legacy? As Prince William's wife, Kate has already taken on significant royal duties, and Windsor Castle might very well become part of her royal future. Kate Middleton's dedication to duty, family, and tradition has made her a central figure in the monarchy's future. Her journey highlights the stark contrast between herself and Meghan reflecting the monarchy's prioritization of tradition. Public opinion on this royal drama was mixed. Some viewed Meghan's request as a blatant disregard for royal tradition, praising Queen Elizabeth's rejection as necessary to uphold the crown's dignity. Others, however, sympathized with Meghan, seeing her request as a bold fight for recognition, believing that the rejection was unfair, especially given Meghan's claims of cold treatment since her marriage to Prince Harry. Regardless of where people stood, everyone agreed on one thing, Queen Elizabeth's decision was a pivotal moment in royal history. It underscored her unwavering commitment to the crown and her determination to protect its legacy for future generations. Meghan Markle will never own Windsor Castle, not because of a personal rejection but because of how the monarchy works.
Royal properties are managed by the Crown Estate, ensuring they remain part of royal heritage. Meghan's request failed to grasp Windsor Castle's true value as a symbol of British sovereignty and monarchical power. By rejecting Meghan's request, Queen Elizabeth safeguarded the monarchy's essence. The monarchy values its traditions, and Queen Elizabeth's decision was a reminder that the crown is more important than individual desires. With Queen Elizabeth's decision now firmly part of royal history, Windsor Castle's future remains a topic of interest. As Prince William and Kate Middleton's roles within the monarchy continue to grow, Windsor's importance as both a residence and a symbol of the crown will undoubtedly increase. Even though Meghan didn't get Windsor Castle, she and Harry have moved on. Having left their royal roles in 2020, they now live in the U.S., where they are forging a new legacy through charity work and media ventures. Meghan's request for Windsor was perhaps a symbolic gesture, a desire to remain connected to the royal world she left behind. However, she and Harry are now building their own legacy, separate from the monarchy. Kate Middleton's steady rise in the royal family demonstrates the power of patience and duty. Unlike Meghan, Kate's journey has been slow and methodical, rooted in a deep respect for tradition. Both women are shaping the royal family's future, but in very different ways. At the heart of this royal drama lies the significance of tradition. In a never-changing world, the monarchy's adherence to customs might seem old-fashioned, yet these traditions are what give the royal family its strength and stability. Queen Elizabeth's decision to protect Windsor Castle was crucial to maintaining the monarchy's essence. In her final moments, Queen Elizabeth made a powerful statement by denying Meghan Markle's request for Windsor Castle. It was more than just about property, it was about preserving a legacy. With Prince William and Kate Middleton set to lead the monarchy, the future is bright, albeit complex. Windsor Castle will continue to symbolize the monarchy's power, and Queen Elizabeth's legacy will inspire future generations. So, where do you stand? Should the monarchy adapt to today's values, or remain rooted in its traditions? Share your thoughts, and let's continue discussing the future of the British monarchy.